Hey guys, this is James. I'm going to go over a couple things here. Um, the URU 4500 fingerprint scanner um, that we provide uh, on our website and uh, sell with our time drop kits. Some folks are having issues with Windows not selecting the proper driver. So even though they install the driver from our website and um, hook up the scanner per the instructions that we give or the video that's on YouTube, they're still not able to see the scanner when they come into Time Drop Manager. Go to Manage System Options, and then the Terminal tab still doesn't show up here. The light on it may or may not be blue. A um, couple different things. Typically, what we've been seeing lately is that the scanner itself is working correctly. It's just that the driver that Windows is selecting is not the correct one. And if you're using Windows 10, which seems to be the case, you can right click on the start menu on the bottom left. That's a right click and then choose device manager. And in the old version of Windows, if you're still having that particular issue, let's say it's a Windows 7, something like that, you can get to the device manager by selecting Windows start menu and then control panel. and then choose system and security, and then device manager. That'll bring up the same window, okay? So I'll get out of here. Uh, once you're in device manager, you're gonna see an option for, or a tree node for biometric devices. And the URU 4500 fingerprint reader in your particular case, if you're having an issue and watching this video, it may have like WBF or something like that after the name of the driver. So right click on that. We're gonna do update driver. You're gonna choose browse my computer. And then let me pick from a list. And in here, you want to select the driver that is URU 4500 fingerprint reader. You do not want the one with the WBF, I believe it is. I'm, I'm totally shooting from the hip here, so I could be saying it wrong. But basically, you want the one without that at the end. You want just the regular URU 4500 fingerprint reader driver. So choose that, hit next. It will install a driver. The light on the scanner should turn blue at this point. You can click close and then close the device manager. You'll then go back to time drop manager Click on the terminal tab and you should see the scanner there to select from, choose save, close that out. And now when you go to the clock in out screen, you can see that scan finger is lit up. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and click the like button on the video uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And also I would recommend you hit the notification bell below the video here by the subscribe button to make sure that you are notified when we release new videos. Have a great day.